Yes, Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Good to be with you, so Maria. So what do you think? You've seen politics for a long time and, and, and have been a student of, of these kinds of elections for a long time. Do you think there was a deal in place? I mean, would Amy Klobuchar and, and uh, Pete Buttigieg step down and, and say, well, yeah, we'll step down, and, but we'll endorse you if you know, we're part of your cabinet? Yeah, it seems very clear there was a deal. I mean, you had South Carolina on Saturday, and you've already been in the race for months and months. I mean, what's another three days? And, you know, you go take your chances on Super Tuesday, or as Joe calls it, Super Thursday. But at the end, uh, they both dropped out, I think, because you're seeing the anti-Bernie wing of the Democrat Party doing everything they can desperately to try to stop Bernie's momentum. And so you wanted to see uh, these candidates, who were probably going to take more votes away from Joe Biden than anyone else, drop out to go endorse him. And maybe they're already trying out for, for Joe Joe's VP nod. Problem is, Bernie's got all the momentum, and, and momentum really does mean a lot in these primaries. Congressman, I, I want to ask you about the economy right now, um, and we're going to get. I'll get back to Super Tuesday in a second because the G7 is out with a statement this morning. You know, you know that markets rallied 1,200 points yesterday on the Dow, and this morning we were looking at a pretty sizable uh, gain as well uh, until the G7 statement came out. We're looking at a gain at the start of trading this morning for the market, but it's well off of the highs, basically because they all came out. And and, and, and they reaffirm their commitment to use all appropriate policy tools to achieve strong, sustainable growth. But they didn't have any action. They didn't say that they didn't see that they would actually do anything about it. So it, it looks like more PR than anything else. And I think that's the way the market is seeing it. As someone as yourself who, who really was involved in the tax cut legislation that moved the needle on economic growth, you and your colleagues with that tax cut and the rollback and deregulation that the president Led. What do you want to see? I mean, the, the president's calling for a rate cut from the Fed. Overnight, J.P. Morgan's chief uh, economist lowered his expectations for growth in 2020. Coronavirus is having an impact, certainly on the economy as, as well as our health. But do you want to see these G7 uh, ministers come out with, this, uh, with a real plan to boost economic growth? What are you going to do about it? Well, Maria, you know, you know very well that markets react to uncertainty, and clearly with the coronavirus, there's still a lot of uncertainty uh, because there's not a, a known vaccine. Uh, we're still finding out more information on uh, how it's coming into our country like so many other countries are seeing. But at the end of the day, you know, President Trump's taking it very seriously. He put Vice President Pence in charge of coordinating all federal agencies to make sure they're doing what they can, uh, getting together yesterday with pharmaceutical companies. I think today the president's going to uh, meet over at NIH to talk to the people that are involved in trying to find a cure and working with uh, those companies. So look, uh, there is uncertainty with this, but uh, like everything, markets, ultimately uh, the, the individual stocks prices should be based on the fundamentals yeah. and the economy is still very strong. Uh, there's still a lot of growth opportunities, but right now our country's facing uh, the uncertainty of this virus that, uh, that other countries are experiencing as well. Yeah. Uh, in the end, I think we're going to get through this and the economy is going to continue to grow even stronger yeah. than it is right now. Congressman, I know you're going to be involved in the FISA moves at the hearing today. We will talk with you about that as well. It's good to see you this morning, sir. Thanks so much. Always good seeing you, Maria. Steve Thanks. Scalise. We'll be right back.